This week, we are going to Puerto Rico, and we're going to be starting the trip off by exploring the two forts on the island, and then finishing the night with a sunset sail. Good morning. So now we're going to go check out the water. I think this is a coconut. Maybe? Oh! <laughs> Allergic reaction, maybe? Allergic reaction, that's crazy. Oh, good. Oh, shit. <laughs> well, oh my god! Well, the sun is all orange. I look yeah. like a certain president. Nice. <laughs> wet. You're wet. wet. Babe. What do you think of the water? I think she liked it. I'm gonna check out the beach. Okay, so after the beach, our power came back on, so we relaxed for about an hour. <gasps> then we just went to the store. I just jumped in the trees. Oh, you missed Sorry, it. Sorry, I get easily distracted. Besides the lizard, we got some groceries, some bottled water, and now we're going back to the Airbnb to relax. <laughs> All right, so it's been a long day. We woke up around 4 a.m., uh, flew to Puerto Rico, got to our Airbnb, power was out. So then we went and got food. Then we went to the beach, went shopping, got some groceries, but we are pooped. So we are gonna go pretty much right to bed. So we will pick this up tomorrow. Day two. Day two. Day two. Day two. All right, so day two in San Juan. We are now going to take an Uber all the way up to old San Juan to do some sightseeing before we have our sunset cruise tonight. What is this on the left? This is the, this is like the White House. Oh, wow. Yeah, but the senators work. Oh, wow.
We are currently walking up to Castillo San Felipe del Moro. Nice job. So we're gonna see what it's all about and there's a cruise ship coming in. So I wanna see if we can get a good view of that. That's a big boat. Look at that. It's a big, big dry moat. That is too cool. That is an unreal blue. Alright, so I'm going into a sentry box, which guards would use to stand post in and watch over the water, watch for enemy, uh, enemy ships. The view is not bad. That's what I was just standing in. I have no idea what these are, but they look cool. You know what? I wonder if they had like cannons on these and they rotated like on wheels and like, and these were like the tracks on which they, not tracks, but the things on which they rolled around on. Babe, if you were an invading ship and you saw this fort, would you try to invade it? I'd turn around. I would turn around. I would do the same. It's about 15 degrees cooler in here though. Steep stairs. They weren't that steep. It's a friend. It's an iguana, right? Did you see that catch? Is that on film? I hope so. Pretty sure it was a shot. Did you guys see that? My reflexes. I wouldn't mind being stationed to this fort. Would you be a cannon operator 500 years ago? More than likely. Some of these, like, you can't really like, turn that much. Like, with a cannon, like, you kind of just gotta hope the ship's, like, right there. Are you sure? I think so. <laughs> I guess, like, if the ship's, like, anywhere in there, you're fine. <laughs> Yeah, any anywhere there, you're good. I should let them know my thoughts. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Welcome to my home. Please make yourself at home. One bed, one bath. One bed, one bath. Fifteen hundred um, a month. Fifteen hundred dollars a month. Where'd we go? We're trying to find how to get down to the water, but we're <laughs> lost in this maze. Okay. Is this not the water? Not where we're trying to go. We're lost. For some context. We're it's about. To go over here. This is where we're trying to get to, and there's no way for us to get over there. So close and so far. Damn. All right, back to spare one. It is about 85 degrees out. We've been doing too many stairs for us Americans. Can you see this sweatshirt down my back as you're following me around? Yes, I can. When we left Michigan, it was 35 degrees. Look at that. There's a whole bunch of quarters and dimes and just. Oh, what's that right there? Like PDC from the 1500s. Yeah, look, I think there's another uh, dry moat type dealio. Maybe there's water at one point. 
I don't know. Look, we stumbled across the old bathroom. I've definitely seen worse. That is a big boat trailer thing. Looks like it's just being pulled by a tugboat. You got like a trailer full of cargo in the back. We are like right on top of where we originally came in, looking down. There's old San Juan. We did not bring enough water. Looks like some soldiers' quarters. Yeah, so they must have been pretty short. Short kings. Because I'm right at six foot tall and my hair touched the ceiling. Wow. Never heard of a dry moat before, but I guess it serves the same purpose. Alrighty, we talked to a very nice uh, ranger. Oh, she wants to be in it. Hi everyone, we talked to a very nice park ranger who said the way to get to the front of the water is that staircase right over there, so let's go. That was, that was pretty good. This is gorgeous. Look at that. Absolutely insane. Oh, another friend. Looks like kind of a thin one. I found some more friends. I'm gonna see if I can get closer to them. There's one right there and one right there. Well, it's like a little hidey hole. I won't get too close, but I just wanted to see him. I really don't know where Lainey went, but she can't have gone far because she's going towards the water, so. I you know, hope to find her down there. Ooh, there she is. If you guys want to do anything that we do in these videos, we'll be sure to put links for everything down in the description below. Those ones are way bigger than yesterday's. Oh, yeah? Those are way better. Oh, look, look, yeah, that's a... We need to go in those ways, babe. Oh, goodness. I think you do. Okay. My mom requested a rock from Puerto Rico, and I think I just found one. I really like this one. What is it? A bunch of little baby crabs on the sidewalk. Oh, you gonna get close enough? Little crab friend? I hope you guys can see these. They're very tiny little baby crabs. There's some people out there, uh, like paddle, kayaking, kind of, maybe? Found some bird friends. That is crazy. He's looking at us. Alright, so that trail by the water ended up being about a mile and a half. So we were out of water, hot and hungry. So we're gonna go try to find some food in Old, in, uh, old San Juan. I don't know 
if I want to. You should to... totally do that. I don't just know if I want your, pigeons on me. Ar- just put your hands out, though. I don't want to get pooped on. You should do it. And so what? Just you should do it here. I'll, I'll even. <gasps> God damn. That's crazy. <laughs> Those pigeons were just landing on people that did not even have food. Like they were just <laughs> rabid pigeons. The streets are a little bit busier than normal right now because a cruise ship just landed, the one that I showed you guys earlier. So the streets are a little bit packed right now. Crazy. After so many years, these roads have like developed like ruts in the ground. Like they're almost like driving off road. And the bricks going into the ground. Anything cool? <laughs> Alrighty, so now that we've got lunch in our bellies, we've walked over to the the larger of the two main forts on the island, I believe. Uh, Castillo Don Cristobal. Don Cristobal. Something like that. So now we're gonna go check this out. And since we already paid admission at the other port, we should get in here for free, so that'll be nice. See off in the distance those large cruise ships. To correct myself, it's Castillo San Cristobal. Oh, it's gotta be like 20 degrees cooler in here. Look how they like tore through the floor, babe. Look how thick that like floor is. Oh. It's gotta be like six feet thick. Spooky. <laughs> Sunlight. <laughs> Back to the start. You get some crazy views up here of old San Juan and the coast. It's been a lot of fun to walk around old San Juan, but I think we're both ready to go lay down, face down, in a dark room <laughs> with some AC. Carly, we were just here. And <laughs> we juked ourselves out. These castles are very uh, maze-like sometimes. This looks like the well that they used to get water out of. We are pretty pooped. We are back at the Airbnb. We are gonna relax and cool off before our sunset sail. So uh, yeah, see you then. Alrighty, so after relaxing for a little bit, we are now waiting for our Uber to head to our sunset sail. Show off our sunburn. Oh, yeah. Got some on my hands and my forearms. We'll be down there. Charlie's got some on his chest, but after many hours in the sun mm -hmm. and uh, sweating, I think it's pretty good. Not bad. Not bad. Viewers are going to love that.
Hello. There are some big ones. I would not mind jet skiing. <laughs> Should we just hop on? Yeah, probably. Just that's what they're right out of the bay. Yeah, that's what they're there for. Have a seat there. there. Have a seat here. I, I like that one. One at a time, please. Up there, grab right the cable. Up you go. Can I, can I go in front? Yep. You're going to awesome. be on that side. Thank you, thank you. So we opted to sit in the front of the boat. <laughs> we were sitting on a mat. And if we fall, we fall. You're excited? Some big boats. That's our companion boat. Sails going up. Those are like platforms that they used to bring in uh, shipping containers on that the tugboats pull. Pretty cool. Nice. Those sangrias on the on the boat. That's good. This is nice. Passion fruit. Get out to open water pretty soon. You know, past the uh, cruise ships that came in. So everything that you're seeing is old San Juan. Got some Coast Guard vessels and a military ship, I believe. Hopefully, because there's a gun on the front. But so correction, that's a Royal British ship, Royal Navy, whatever they call it over there. <laughs> so this is the church that we saw earlier, and that red-looking gate right there. That was the end of our very, very long walk from the first port we saw today into Old San Juan. So there's a red dome, like, right here, and that is a college art school. What a beautiful place to go to school. Hi. Uh, by the way, if you can see it, right at that green buoy is the start of the Atlantic, Atlantic Ocean and one of the corners of the Bermuda Triangle. <laughs> the deepest part of the Atlantic Ocean is 70 miles that way. Oh, the wind's taking us sideways. Thank you. Hold on to me. Hold on to me, sir. Oh, you're sweaty. <laughs> it's a sunscreen. Hopefully. We're officially in the Bermuda Triangle. Oh. Doesn't seem so scary. No, hold on to me, please. <laughs> oh, <getting> bouncy. <laughs> that is too cool. Oh. <laughs> I said, hang on. <laughs> it's getting a little bit, a little bit bouncy. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. <laughs> We're probably moving like, out. Oh, oh my gosh. Five to seven feet in the air at a time now. <laughs> There's our friends. Oh god. Ooh, they trying to wrap it up. Oh. I hope this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Charlie doesn't like it. It feels like that immediate drop on a roller coaster. <laughs> Here we go. Oh shit. Oh, whoa. <laughs> We're turning around. She said, make sure you know where to hold on. Casa Bacardi. That's beautiful. Oh shit. <laughs> this isn't going to come through in the GoPro, but we're fucking moving now. <laughs> Yeah, I would come back. I would oh. do this again. You would do it again? Yeah. You're not scared shitless. Maybe a little bit. Maybe us in the back, yeah. Oh, thank you. There you go. Don't go away. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, I'm excited. I'm, I'm waiting right, for it. Thank you. Thank you. Sangria number two. <laughs> Those fort walls are 45 feet tall and 15 feet wide. Scrumptious. And empty drinks. Oh. Here's a little close-up view of uh, 
Oh, San Juan. Yeah. Very colorful. Yeah, I love all the buildings. So very colorful. We got yellow, orange, pink, blue, gray, red, everything. Old embassy. Now it is customs. <laughs> Here is an even more, more close up view. Oh, San Juan. That carnival crew is backing out, so we're gonna be playing chicken with them. This is a tight spot, yeah. Look at that. He must like have to push us or something. Look at that. Sniped it. Oh, oh yeah, this is like not easy to do. All right, so we just got off the sunset sale, so now we are waiting for our Uber to go get some uh, get some dinner. everyone we wanted to go to the burrito place um but the wait was over an hour long so we ended up going to an italian place across the street i will say i wouldn't go back but when you are tired and very hungry anything will taste good <laughs> agreed so now we're heading back to the airbnb to shower sleep and get ready for our all-day excursion tomorrow so we'll pick it up there